every person could be you though What's going on, Nova Squad? It's Miss Monkey with hair. And if y'all can't tell, do I look different? Does something look different? I don't even understand it. But um, if y'all couldn't tell, <laughs> uh, we are in a new setup. I want y'all to go and spam Matthew V. Haynes for me, please. Thank him. Thank you, Matthew. He's actually sitting over there. <laughs> But um, thank you for setting up this stuff for me, y'all. I wanted to try something different, and this is going to be helping with editing. That means I get to push out more shows for you guys, get them out on time for you guys, and even start uploading the full on uncut reaction on Patreon for those who do want to watch it. So, yo, yo, save that. Save that, bro. My brother's over there. So, spam him in the comments. Thank you, Matthew. I appreciate you. I guess I love you, bro. I guess I love you. I love <laughs> but yeah, guys, uh, we are back with another reaction this week. I'm gonna be oh, by the way, side note, I'm gonna show you behind the scenes of this whole setup, y'all. It was like three, four hours in the making. No joke, no joke. All Matthew B. Haynes idea, okay? And yeah, so I'll post it on a community page. Make sure you guys are checking that for updates, and I will post it on my Instagram and Twitter as well. Um, yeah. So last week, okay, Cheryl was doing her little doo-doo. I don't understand what she was doing with, with her brother. I don't I don't get it. I don't get it. I'm so happy Tony saw her, okay? Hopefully, she'll get her some help. What else did we see? Oh, a couple of you guys said it. That whole Edgar Evan everything, like, like just so he dead? Just so? I don't believe it. I don't believe it for a second. I don't believe it. Like the home farm story, that storyline was such a good storyline, better than the whole Gigi King, in my opinion. It was stupid, but it was good. And just like that, it just done. Evelyn is still on the loose. Okay. Um, but yeah, we're gonna be seeing more of that, I know for sure. Charles, I don't know if we could trust him, y'all. I really don't know. And then what else happened? Brett. Brett, honestly, I just want Jughead to just block this guy. Like, just, no, for real, like, because I'm just so done with him. Um, but yeah, guys, that is it. We're just gonna jump straight into this reaction. Make sure you stay tuned for the review. Uh, um, I can't even speak. Well, the review at the end, okay? So let's just jump straight into this reaction. Let me grab my tea, y'all. I got my tea because it's please? late. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on at the end of this thing. I really don't. That's forward. The heck? They're back home. Over the next few days, then weeks, more and more citizens of Riverdale received copies of similar tapes. The footage of their the fringe benefit of living with the sheriff. I get the inside scoop before any other reporter. Mm -hmm. That's weird. <laughs> to say goodbye to Jason. You've been promising me for weeks. I know, and I'm going to. Hell, he wants both of us to leave. Let's not give him that satisfaction, okay? It's easy for you to say, Jug. I'm not calling you gargoyle boy. No, sir. No, sir. Hey! You and you. And don't worry about costumes. One of my gal pals in New York, Katie Keene, she goes to the High School of the Performing Arts and Katie. is an amazing designer. Let me see what she can whip up for you, too. Yes. Like the Stonewall 4, you mean? I'm betting Forsyth could make it the Stonewall 5. Cheryl, what's that? Oh, God. Here we go. Oh, no. I think he's mad at us for what you made me do. Listen here. Searching for something in particular? Like... Articles about the Stonewall 4, perhaps? The town newspaper office. Uh, the police yeah, station. Yeah, I knew she put something in his drink. I knew it. Don't, I knew you okay? put something in his drink. <sighs> you don't just take drinks from people, bro. Okay, opening my eyes now. Oh. He's locked up. Heck no. I would flip. I would flip out. Did they bury him? All right. Hey. All right, Brett. 
I know. Jug, you burn yourself on fire with that lighter. I would flip. I would flip out. Hey! Let me out! Hello? I've been driving straight the last 18 hours. I, I could really use a cup of coffee and a home-cooked meal. Oh, no. Is she there by herself? I'll be quick. I, I, I'm trying to get home to my family by daybreak. Time is money. Come on, let's go. He's not going anywhere with you. Oh, yeah? What are you going to do about it, Captain Spandex? I heard you got your ass kicked not too long ago. If you'd like a repeat, I'll happily oblige. Now, leave. They're asleep. Nana, where's the other baby monitor? I heard him crying. Your brother. In the chapel. Okay, that's not possible. I threw that doll away. I told you. It's JJ. Hot red-handed. You. Stay here. Gavin, come with me. Jelly? Jelly bean? Are you okay? Got ya! <laughs> it's oh your face. Oh my gosh. I thought something happened to her. Do not answer that. Leave me alone! It's coming from inside the house. Devil's a liar. Ah, ooh. Jesus. Hey, can I show you something? No, you can't. It's my family. My wife and my two little girls. Amazing. Okay, eat Aww. your food and leave. Everything you've been through, I can only imagine how alone you must feel. It was Reggie's idea to, to trash your office. I'm, I don't know, I'm so sorry, okay, Mr. Honey? No, that's all I needed to hear. You can go now. What is going on? Until the party's over, and then I'm walking you home. He's gonna escape. That's it, I'm done playing. Yeah, you do that, son. Come here, get your ass shot. <sighs> That's right. It's not Jason. It's Julia. Julia? What do you mean, Anna? A baby's in her room. Because she had a sister. Julian was to be your triplet. But in the end, only you and Jason were born. Because you, Cheryl, had absorbed the third one. Eaten it. Ew. Dang, stop. Can we get rid of this creepy ass doll once and for all and bury him in Jason's grave? Yes, DT, I agree to your terms. Do you think this has anything to do with your father abusing you? What? Know all of this? People won't notice the bruises or the. They're not laughing with you, Mr. Mantle. They're laughing, They're laughing at you. Who is now, this you guy? consider that. I've always wanted to be a part of a real family. But I know that that takes time. What is that? Where is the call coming from? Coming from Shady Grove Treatment Center, where your sister's been staying. Polly? Polly has been prank calling me. Edgar. One moment, please. No, bitch, it's your sister. What? Edgar is worm food. I'm scared for Veronica. I don't I'm like not usually on kitchen her. duty, so I hope the burger was all right. Ugh, delicious. Send oh, him well, home. Well, I will take a slice of that. All right. Thank you. Send him home. I don't like this. Treatment center earlier yeah. today. A serial killer nicknamed the family man to cook him meals before brutally murdering them. He is of average height and medium build. After escaping from Shady Grove, he killed a trucker and stole his clothes and vehicle. Oh my God. 
Door's next. Where's Eddie? He left. I need Check around back. Hey! Oh my. Eddie. You shot Eddie? Eddie. I need an Thank you. Well, get home safe. Oh no, you are not supposed to be a principal. Oh no. Why Did you know about this? Absolutely not. And that's all. Want we go too far? Yes, you did. Well, in that case, you could always just leave. Don't leave. No. This is his trick. I'm good. I was gaslighting you before. And for that, I apologize, but I swear on Jason's life. I have no idea how that got back into this house. Yes, you are not going to believe what Brett. He left. I don't know. I might actually be good at it. Yeah, I think you would be great at it. I'm just glad that Charles was there for you. Yeah. <sighs> Why can't you might be the real it? deal. I promise. What am I watching? What? <sighs> Y'all! What is happening? What did I just watch? Is that my juggy? Is that my juggy? Is that him? Um, so far in this episode, it was Halloween night, and, you know, we see the core four, and plus them implementing Reggie and Kevin into the storyline. I saw they threw in Katie Keene, so that means they're going to be intermingling Katie Keene at some point. When Katie Keene comes out, I guess, you know, we're going to be seeing maybe Josie over on Katie Keene. You know, however way they're going to be doing it. I just know they're going to be doing it. Um, They said they were going to be doing it. And then they also mentioned Mr. Honey was like, oh, Kevin, you, you know, something about NYU and you're going to be good there. I think Kevin is going to be, Kev I think Kevin is going to be in Katie Keene too, I think. Um, But yeah, so I don't know if they're preparing, like setting up for after Riverdale. Like, the kids graduate, like, if, you know, they're going to be getting ready for, you know, college. Because remember, Josie wasn't, like, a year ahead. You know, she was in the same grade. But anyways, that's besides the point. Um, In this episode, we see Archie and Mad Dog. I can't call him Monroe. Mad Dog. Um, trying to create a safe space for the kids to be at because Dodger, you know. I'm guessing because... The serpents are not really in the picture anymore, and the pretty poisons are not in the picture, and the ghoulies are not in the picture. They have to create some form of adversity in the city, which is the um the gang, because they're always gonna have a gang line, a gang storyline, a murder storyline, a mystery storyline, and a regular drama storyline. So I'm guessing Dodger and them is the new ghoulies, the new serpents, um, which I don't really care for to be honest. Uh, but anyway, so they have that for the kids at the community center. Veronica, bruh, my heart, bruh. 
I give it up to Veronica. She is smart. She knows she going. I'm like, why is she running downstairs? Why is she running downstairs? But you would have to know that this man has a lighter for you to put that alcohol there and then put it on him. That that was really brave of her, y'all. I would have tried to attempt to run out the door, <laughs> grab a knife from the kitchen, like, oh, I was scared for Veronica, bro. She should have sent that man home. Where was Pops? Why is she closing up? Oh, yeah, I forgot she owns the place. But anyways, um, yeah, so that was that. Um, Betty now, I don't know who's calling. I'm pretty sure this was like a all, like a whole setup for, um, Charles, maybe. I don't know if they're going to be turning Charles into something because he's still here. And technically the farm storyline is over. Um, what if Charles is the farm? What if he is the one that was like the real Edgar ever never? Who knows? Um, wow. That'd be crazy though. Um, but he's over there at the house and the way that he was speaking to Betty, so calm, so cool to me, it was just like, that's weird. Maybe it's because, you know, he's a FBI agent and he's used to stuff like that. Or maybe, I don't know. It was just weird. I don't know. I can't put my fingers on it now, but I don't know who would be calling Betty. We saw how I got shot. Penelope's still out there. Evelyn's still out there. Polly sounds confused. She's obviously still healing from this whole farm situation. Um... And Shady Grove. Why is she always at some place that is shady? Honestly. Um what else? What else? What else? Um Alice and and Betty is living with FP and them. That's weird. Like see, like for Jelly I'm happy for Jelly Bean because she actually has like somebody else in the household since Jug is not there and her mom is gone. Alice is there. Um and Betty is there. So that's pretty cool to have them back in the home. And I, I really hope we see more of Jelly Bean. I don't think we really would, but um yeah. Um also um what happened? Yo, Brett and them. I feel like all like the kids, like they work together to, to rule whoever they don't want in their circle out. And remember when Dana or whatever, Donna or whatever her name was telling Jug, oh, you better watch your back around Brett. Like, oh, he uses psychology to mess with, like, you know, to get you scared and all this stuff. But we all know Jug is stronger than that. I personally believe that they got Moose out of there. And I hope Moose is not dead or whatever, but Moose is gone. Um, I don't know. Yo, I really can't explain the ending with Jug. Like, what the heck is ha like what happened to Jug? Y'all cannot kill Jug. That's all I know. That's all I know. Y'all just can't do that to me. You can't do you can't you can't do that, Riverdale. You just you just can't. You don't have the capacity to, to kill Jug, okay? You probably do, but still. Um yeah, but overall, this episode was... Oh, and that whole thing with Reggie and Mr. Honey. Mr. Honey is a literal child. I don't know where they got this man from, um, but he needs to go back to the beehive. Like, he just, need to, he just need to go. He just need to go. I don't know why he's up in these kids' business, why he's trying to get in their minds and make them feel weak. Um, I don't know. What was that whole thing about with Reggie? I don't know. And why are people in school after hours? That's just not even realistic. Unless it was like a hosted event or something. But y'all, um, overall this episode it was, oh! And Cheryl and Tony, bruh. Nana Rhodes, I'm telling you, she's creepy, but she was saying that Cheryl and them had a sister. I don't know what's the point of them bringing up the storyline with this Julianne and 
and stuff but i don't know what's going on with that i really want that corpse out of there like i really feel like tony would be stronger than that to get through the show to get her to get the corpse out y'all need to stop digging up and digging up this body putting it back in the ground digging up the body like how you go six feet you you was digging all day story the episode was kind of like it was scary but it wasn't scary the most part that was scary to me was veronica with that creepy man with that smile don't smile at me like that don't do that um but it was kind of like i don't know like i'm just watching season four because i saw what they did with season three there was so much plot holes and I know so much of y'all had stuff to say with that Edgar ever never see. I saw, about, I saw some of y'all saying, oh, they're trying to make um Edgar look like Rocket Man. <laughs> y'all, if you don't follow me on Twitter, I posted this article. I reshared this article that the president wrote. And that jump was so funny because it was so true. Like, Alex, Todd, and Thomas, you said that the storyline, the way that they wrote, they wrote off. The farm storyline was trash, and I agree with you, but I don't think it's done. But even though the way they did it, with having Edgar shot just like that, like, what? And where was he going with that rocket? Like, was he just hoping to just blow up in the air? Then why ask for the money? And then why have ever Like, where? What? I don't know. But, yeah, y'all, that is it for this reaction. Nothing more, nothing less. This episode was so so it was so so i just don't know what they're doing with this whole jughead storyline i don't know y'all i'm just watching i'm not gonna quit on y'all and just be like deuces i ain't reacting to this show no more but we gonna see we gonna see but yeah guys that is it let me know your thoughts down below for or your predictions for season four do you think jug is actually dead do you think it's um i don't know i, I don't know like I don't know where do you think moose went who do you think julianne is what is the point of them bringing the storyline let me know all of your thoughts down below who do you think charles really is who do you think he is because right now they're trying to implement him for something why was he eavesdropping at the end listening to betty's line what if he is the one that's putting up the video tips in everybody's front of everybody's house okay um if you had liked this reaction don't forget to give the video a big thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to the channel hit the uh, bell down below so you always get notified when i post another video come and join the nova squad and y'all that is it i'll catch y'all in my next reaction next week milky way out